Hey everybody, I'm here at Legoland. They're having their Christmas events going on, so I'm here to check it out. I don't think I'm going to get it all done today, so it's going to have to be a two-parter for this event, so I have to come back next weekend. It's only happening during the week weekends, except on the first weekend where it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, uh, let's go and uh, do what we can today, and I'll show you as much as we can, and then I'll come back for the rest. All right, can't wait to get in there. All right, let's get to it. All righty. Well, if you didn't know it, you do now. It's 12 days till Christmas, everyone. And then there's the tree. I have the brochure, which I'll go over with you guys in a little bit. So they should have this be lighting up and music and everything. If if they do it like they did uh, before in previous years, but who knows how the virus affected things. There's all the meet and greets. So I'm going to try to get to some home, as many of them today as I can. In previous years, most of the Christmas stuff has always been mainly here in front with regard to decorations. Rocking around, so. Looks like they are definitely having it. Alright, let's get on to the rest of the stuff. And hopefully I get a chance to see that live tonight. Looks like they're having the stilt walkers again. There's only one. Normally they have them as a couple there. For every event they always have them. So a little different. Holiday Village Postal Service. I think I remember hearing something about this. Somehow it says it's something to do with um, send Santa a letter. They had some event with that. So let's see. Yeah, stop in write a special letter to Santa. When you're done, watch your letter arrive at the North Pole. Okay, cool. Come on in. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Just want to get through all you in there. And one more? Cool, thank you. Hi. That's always cool guys. You see I flip this camera. Oh now I can be able to do it. There's the Lego Ginger Band meet and greet. And right there. In front of the next to the theater. Which they usually have them right there anyways. Okay. Okay, here's that mosaic they're making. Right here in front of the Fun Town Theater. And they said they did a lot of progress on it. That's right, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be me and Lego Santa. Oh, this is the line? You're next in line? Okay. Oh, okay, see where it goes. They had, um, what was it? Um, had him here a couple years ago, and then they had him in the one building store down there, and then the one building over there, they had Lego Santa, so they changed the location to him. But they have had him in here before. They used to have a, um, I think this is where the discount store, no, this wasn't where the discount store was. But we'll see in a second. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the discount store was, guys. Hi. This looks different in here. Yeah, these red squares you gotta stand out. Let me show you what I want to look at. Okay. Can you say bye to Santa? Are you excited, guys? Oh. Darn it. Hi. Hey. Hello. 
cool. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. That's awesome. It's always awesome being Lego Santa. All right, let's go to the next one. But they definitely have a lot of those cool trees made out of Legos right there, like right there. Send over to the next meet and greet. Then they have these Lego figures. They have like a list of them you can go throughout the park. This is the first one. And Lego Toy Soldier at meet and greet will probably be right down there. That was cool looking, isn't it? Here's the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 It's always cool to do these mean green guys. Well, right next to where Lego Toy Soldier is, they have How the Unikitty meet and greet. Right there. Alright, cool. Bubbles in the lens, guys. Cool. Thanks. Hi. All right, Unikitty. Best selfie face. All right, cool. Thank you. Of course. Are you having fun today? Yeah. I'll see you again. Bye. Well, Unikitty seems to be the most popular one. Oh, this is a good example. In this section, the kingdom section, you wouldn't even know it was like Christmas time as there is no Christmas decorations here. I'm not sure if that's just on purpose or what. But, uh... I mean, I, maybe they thought it would take away from the theme and of this theme for this area, which is what, medieval. So, not sure. But you see much more Christmas stuff more closer to the front of the park than in the back or the middle. I can't wait. They're finally going to be having a new water ski stunt show thing. Starting in February. It's been quite a long time since I've seen one. Here, because of COVID and everything. So, when it happens, I'll be showing you guys. Well, unfortunately, they're at capacity for that, so I have to come back at, um, I think the next show's like 4.30. Uh, was it right? Yeah, right there. And with, they put that fence up so you can't even stand by in there, like in this section, and watch it either. So I have to see about 4.30. And they, even though they said they were at capacity, they weren't letting anyone in, and some people came up right behind me and she let them in, so I don't know. Isn't that cool? So, we get the next one. Who's not gone? You have to like do this. Look at that big thing over there. And then, they have a Santa's toy bag build here. Which, I showed that a second ago, that's it. All right, well, I got a few minutes. Let's review the um, brochure for this time. Which here's the cover. There's the days. Here's the Lego photo spots, which I already showed the, um, the snowman and the Santa and the reindeer. And I'll show the others. And a little, oh, I actually showed the uh, Christmas tree too. 
Um, I might actually show the other one and didn't, um, just walked by and didn't really pay attention because I was kind of rushed to get back for the meet and greets. I'll double check, but that's them and their locations. They have different uh, treats. We'll see if I'll get any of those this time or not. The brochure is always very colorful and festive looking. Here's different shows. North Pole Nonsense is the one I just missed. Now I filmed that last year, but I think it's going to be different because it's a different location. It looks like they had three people, and last year they only had two, and it was in a different section. Of course, they're having a Kids New Year's Eve fireworks. You know, I'll be there, hopefully. And here's the guide map. This is the locations of everything. Different activities, but I already showed the Postal Service, the Mosaic Build, the Toy Bag thing I showed. I didn't show the Scavenger Hunt and uh, Carousel How They Sing Along. Which is actually, uh, I just walked by the carousel, so they must be having something special going on with that. Didn't really notice it when I walked by. And here's all the meet and greets, which I actually did them all pretty darn quickly, within 10 15 minutes of each other. And that's it. And here's some future events coming up. All right. Let's uh, hopefully get a couple of those shows in today and then some other things and like I said, if I have to, I'll come back. Alright, cool. Kind of the more far back section, like I said, by looking around here, you wouldn't even know it was Christmas time. There's no Christmas decorations that I really see. So, uh, that's... One of the few things I think Legoland needs to do a little bit better job on, I think they need to have more Christmas stuff around, even far back here too. And this is my opinion. And you would think they had some like some Christmas trees or some reefs and stuff put around, no. You hear a little bit of Christmas music, but that's about it. So this is the uh, crowds. Today I think it's the 13th. So I want to show the crowds too while I'm back here. Well the sandwich builder truck, which is open, usually only been on weekends, they're having samples. It's a macaroni and cheese with brisket barbecue and onion bits on it. So I'm gonna give it a try. Sit down for a minute. Right over here guys. Try to get someplace more in the shade. Last time I sat around here, I think. That far this one, but we don't need to go all that way. Let's sit here and try this. Oh. Right, I'm gonna put you to ooh, 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 there. Let me take this mask off for a minute. Ooh. I am warm. Put that thing on. The paper ones I think are probably the most coolest. These cloth ones are usually much more hotter. This isn't too bad because it's a single layer, but I had some double layer ones like my uh, Batman one, which is um, very warm. Here it goes. Let's try this. Ooh. Hmm. That barbecue sauce is pretty sweet. I didn't take a picture of this. Maybe I should have, but that's okay. You know? Barbecue sauce mixed in with macaroni and those fried onion pieces. Not too bad. I'm going to try making this myself. I reviewed that truck already in a previous video. Yeah, I like the donut sandwich. It was 
It was okay. It wasn't my favorite thing in the world. I think if I got the one with a brisket, it would have been a lot better. Or the macaroni and cheese. I think it was the same with the macaroni and cheese, too. Okay, well, that's it. A little tiny sample, but it was delicious. And I definitely hit the spot. I was thinking since I gotta wait till um, the next show into that North Pole nonsense show, I might do one of the one of the treats at least. Kingdom Cones, I think, has a few of them, and that'll be a good time to do that because I never reviewed Kingdom Cones. I got never got anything there, so I do a video on it. Most of the time I've been here, it's been closed. I think partially it was the virus, and then I don't think they're, they're not having everything open all the time now. It's just like Disney and theme parks. So let's get to those places. All right, let's go. Well, first time I've seen since uh, they reopened because of the virus that they had the Forestman hideout open. That's good to see that. Now let's head over to Kingdom Cones. Yeah, Kingdom Cones, and they have a couple of holiday treats here, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get. So we'll see. So let's see, guys. There's our normal menu. So we're getting just the regular stuff. That's some of the different flavors they got, guys. I gotta do this quickly before it melts. It's a Mary Mint Twist. And I'll go over the price in a minute. Let's try it. Very good. It is minty. It's basically vanilla with like an outer covering of some uh, mint flavoring on it. Very good though. I'll go over the price in a second. And then I have um, I have the um, the hot freeze, but it's not hot. It's a basically a milkshake, which I'll go over in a minute. But I gotta eat this before I get all melty all over. Right okay, here's the hot chocolate freeze. It has uh, Cool Whip and then um, chocolate shavings on top. I took a picture of it so you'll be able to see it better. Let's try trust the old straw. Things melt here in Florida pretty darn quick, so you gotta be quick with these things. It's good, sweet. Also has chocolate or um, caramel um, syrup on top. It's good, it's sweet, it's nothing special, it's just a typical milkshake. Like I said, I'll go over the price in a second. These paper straws don't work very well. They might have a crack in it. Not getting too much sucking up. Alright, let me finish this and then I'll uh, go over the prices in a second with you guys. <clears throat> okay, just a quick recap. They were both pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like anything really special. Um, I probably would say that the mint one was probably more of my favorite of the two. I don't mind chocolate ice cream. This it's not my favorite one, but they both were very good. But it was like I said, it wasn't anything really special. Now you'll be seeing this in two different videos. The one I'll be doing on the Christmas event that they have here at uh, Legoland. Then you'll be seeing it in a uh, review of Kingdom Cones, so I'll be doing two different videos in this. So if you see this in Kingdom Cones, keep in mind, this is these two that I got only offered, was only being offered during the um, Christmas events that they're having. It's not a regular thing, so just to let you know. Um, this is how much it was. Um, Five dollars for the milkshake. Five fifty for the um, vanilla soft serve, and then they added fifty cents to add the mint to it. So basically, six bucks for the mint cone. Of course, I had the annual pass, which um, took off ten percent, which took off a dollar ten. 
So it's ended up being 1060 for the whole thing. It's definitely not cheap. But you got a theme park, so this is how it is. Alright, that's a quick little review. I'll do a little bit more filming around here to show you what the place looks like. I mean, it's, something, it's just basically a walk-up counter right next to the forest from the hideout. This is all part of like the kingdom section. So, as you probably hear from the music, it's sort of medieval themed. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. And, oh, well, well, technically, I shouldn't say bye yet, but I'm gonna show a little bit more filming around here. Okay. Okay, here, again, here's the holiday treats. I did the Merry Mint Twist and the Hot Chocolate Freeze. The only other two, and I don't think I'm going to get them, is, uh, they're similar to previous years and nothing really that special. Snowball on a Stick, which is a coconut crusted white chocolate bonbon lollipop, which basically, it's like a little cake and a lollipop stick. That's at Granny's Apple Fries. <clears throat> then they're having the Kris Kringle Krispies. Which is red and green press crispy rice cereal with M&M's and icing. I mean that's basically like um, like a Czech Mex type thing if I if it's, it's similar to a previous thing. So I don't think I'll do those. But I did the uh, two cool and imported ones. Okay. They said it's located right next to the Forestman Hideout, which is basically like a. What would you call this? Like a treehouse like attraction for the kids. And they do have outdoor seating here. Basically it's a walk-up window with a very limited ice cream menu. So don't expect a very huge selection. And as usual, I always come check out the old Star Wars section, see if anything's been done. And the answer is no. They haven't put anything here yet. It'll be interesting if they ever do. It's too bad they took that section out. It still was the coolest. But I'm always going to come back here and check every time I come here and film, guys. Keep you updated. Well, I'm definitely going to get in there this time because I'm about over half an hour early, guys. There's one of those still walkers. Pretty cool. Here's a description of the North Pole Nonsense Show. Yeah, it's different from last year. Last year they had two elves, now they have three, so that will definitely affect the show, I would think. They put these up so you can't really see in there now when um when it's not, when a show's not going on, and then when a show's going on, I wonder if they do that for when a show's going on so they don't have people congregating out here but they can't fit everyone in. That's why I would think why they would do it, but I could be wrong. But okay, I'm gonna wait around here to the next one. Just know this, guys, but look. Legoland has their own exclusive uh, flavor of Minute Maid. Mini Maid Lemonade, Mini Maid Light Lemonade, uh, called Brick Blast. I might have to see about trying that. I wonder if I could just buy just a cup of it. I have to get that refillable kind because I don't think I really would drink enough to spend whatever it costs to do the unlimited refills for a day because it is not cheap. So we'll see. This is one of my favorite places. And as head elf, 
it's my job to see that everything's clean and running smooth. Oh, well, I did forget to mention that not every elf is as organized as I am. You see, we have this one elf named Twinkle. She's just very clumsy. So, hopefully you don't see her on your tour today. Twinkle, you know you're not supposed to be in the toy workshop. This isn't the kitchen? Oh, Snickerdoodles, what am I going to do? What's wrong, Blake? I don't think I'm cut out to be a toy maker. No! Oh, what is that, a, a toothbrush? With wings on it? Yeah, okay, maybe it's not the best toy I've seen. Oh, come on! Kids love brushing their teeth, right? But wouldn't it be so much cooler if your toothbrush could fly? I mean, hear me out. Pew, pew! Here comes the Black Patrol! Take that, gingivitis! Look at this floss on it! No. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, well, don't worry, Blake. We'll figure it out. Besides, if you're not cut out to be a toy maker, well, there's plenty of other jobs you'd be great at, okay. and I can help. And our VIPs here can help too, right? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, you can help too, Twinkle. Just please be careful. Oh, always careful. On that note, I think we should start with something easy, like a bouncy ball inspection. Oh, I love that room! Alright, Spark, what do I have to do? Let's sip it. All we have to do is make sure that the balls bounce and there's a perfect weight and shape. I can! Oh, that's nice! Candy cane! Can we have a big smile? 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 It's all in the eyes and the windows to the sun. It always a really good smizer. Here's how you range your house. She's a great smizer. She always growls at me. I feel she doesn't like me. Look at that. Oh, it's an Elfie. An Elfie. I'll take a picture. But there's the camera there. Oh, there's a the camera there. There's a the camera there. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Great day, guys. There's a camera there. Happy birthday. Oh, we got two shots. Two shots. We'll sing you a special birthday song after we take a photo. Let's take a photo first. Photo first. Photo first. Hi. Hello. Hello, Alfie. And one more. Cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Happy holidays. Bye. It's always cool, guys. Let's see the new thing here. It looks like a bowl of cereal with a spoon in it. See here, Mikey likes Legoland. Have you found? Our Mikey Mini Lander. Tag Life Cereal and Mikey likes it when you do. So that little fella there. Someplace here in Miniland. Let's see about trying to find him one time. Be quite a job because this thing's quite big. I'm here in Miniland and usually have like a scavenger hunt located here, but it's not here this time. I gotta check the brochure again. See, they have one at all this year, but usually they'll have like a you search for like a little uh, Santa Claus or uh, an elf or something amongst the um, the Newland displays. Section is always so cool. I can look for hours and hours and hours here, guys. I've done individual um, videos, individual, well, buildings here. I'm not gonna do that today, I don't think. But um, there's a little bit of interest, not a lot in it, but I'm gonna keep doing it because I find it fun. But you see little bits and things of decoration for um, Christmas, like, like let's see. Um, over there I saw Santa on one building. The NASA building, you see Santa with uh, his reindeer. So they had little Christmas touches to uh, Miniland. If you walk around, you'll definitely be seeing a little bit here and there. Ah, space shell's gonna go off. Should we film it, guys? That's a couple times I've seen it come, go off. They haven't had it go off with the smoke. So I'm not sure just, if it just wasn't working then or it just continued it, who knows? But let's see, we got 43 seconds. Let's see if it goes off with the smoke. I don't know. Yep. 
trip. Pretty exciting, guys. 27. 25 seconds, guys. Are you excited? I have filmed this before on my channel. Um, during the day and I think at night. It's kind of cool. There it goes. Good to see they still having it with the smoke. It's awesome, guys. Okay, I think I'm heading out. Um, I got something else I gotta do not here at Legoland, so I have to come back next week and do the rest. Show you a few more of those like Lego photo ops uh, for Christmas. Um, I gotta show you the big Christmas, uh, big uh, Lego Christmas tree when it lights up at night with a little music. So I don't think I can stay around until that happens. And there's that new show, Merry Mashup, I like to check out and watch and film if I can. So uh, I'll definitely be coming back next weekend, guys. I actually got quite a bit today. I was surprised how quick I got those meet and greets done. I got them done within 50 minutes of me getting here. Of course, this time they had it like really close together. Um, so now you know that's separated by different distances. So nice they would have like some of them like all the way in the back of the park. This place isn't huge. But we do have different meet and greets going off at different times. You got a lot of walking to do. Back and forth, back and forth. But you guys only see it's like a small uh, amount of time actually here. But uh, I do a lot of walking. Especially at Disney. Okay, uh, this will probably be it. Any comments or questions put below. If I see anything else, I'll just tack at the end of this. If I get a chance to film anything more. Alright. I gotta get going. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoy this. And like I said, I'll be back next weekend for the rest of this. And hope my how's my hat look when I'm out? It looks pretty dapper, huh? I like it. Got a chapel hat to Disney Springs. It is cool. Alright, gotta get going. Bye. Oops. Just wanted to show this again on the way out. They are lit, but it's not going to look nearly so spectacular as it would at night when they had the show going on. But isn't that cool? Can't wait to come back next week and show this here at night because that is pretty when it lights up and have all the music. Oh, let me show you. See a sign here? Show you something. On the back, they have the sign for the New Year's one. So they're gonna have something go off for that. That's kind of like a little hint. You would think they would have covered it up so people didn't see that. So can't wait to show that when that happens. All right, cool. Remember, I'll be back next weekend to show you this, guys.
Thank you for joining us for Rockin' Around. And don't worry, the dazzling lights will dance again in just a few minutes. Well, I didn't make it for the show. I decided at the last minute, you know what? I can make, I could uh, stay around a little longer, so I did. I want to show you this on the way out. Look how pretty this looks with the lights. That show is different. It's shorter than what I remember. But definitely very Christmassy, guys. Right here with that music going off. Legoland's not open a lot at night. I wish it was more because I have the lights like this, it makes it very pretty looking. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Okay, I wanna show this. I think it looks so nice with those lights. I almost forgot the way I wanted to show some of the Christmas decorated windows that they have here. Looks pretty cool. See how they get in there, there's a little door right there. Look at this. What do you think of a blue Christmas tree? I actually think that looks kind of nice. I have to one time keep an eye out for one of those. That's a few of them. I just want to show a couple of them. It's out here at the big shop. Uh, what I noticed, and I could be wrong about this, but you know that light show they have there? that they, uh, I was wondering if it's different each time because mom here, and yeah, from mom here, she loves Legoland, don't you? Yep. She mentioned it too, that because we just heard it go off now and we we're on the way out and she thought the music was different. And thinking about it, it might be, so there might might be different too. So we might have like different versions of that with different music. Maybe they don't want to keep it too long because they don't want people congregating so much because of the virus, so they made it shorter with different stuff. Instead of um, having like a longer show together, they split it up. I am not sure. I'll have to listen to that more next time and get to go over the one I recorded, just in the case. So I'm not, I got to uh, double check what songs played when I was, uh, when I filmed it with you guys compared to what I just heard now. But we'll see. All right, this is it, I promise. Um, I will be back though. There's one more show thing I want to film and a few of the other, um, Christmassy stuff going on here. I want to make sure I get it. Try to get as much of it as I can for you guys. All right, I gotta get going. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful night. There's mosquitoes around, yeah. and that is it. Any comments, questions? You know what to do. Put them below. All right. Thank you, everyone. Boy, it was a nice day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ew, there's mosquitoes. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, much pleasure though.
Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how richly God has decked thee. 